Parsippany was so Indian that my elementary school had a translator, another eight-year-old Indian kid that would translate, that would translate for any Indian kid that couldn't speak English. And I transferred from one side of Parsippany to the other side of Parsippany in first grade, right around Christmas time, and I was so upset, I decided I would pretend to not speak any English. I was sitting there crying at my desk, and they send this little eight-year-old kid over and say, like, hey, buddy, I'll, I'll translate for you, man. No need to cry. I got you, bro. I was like, shut the fuck up. I speak English. I'm just trying to ride this shit out till break. If you snitch, I swear to God, I'll put your head between your ears. You understand me? So then he started crying. That night, I went home, and my sister and I stayed up super late watching Home Alone and setting traps for my dad. That the next morning, I had forgotten my ruse, that I didn't speak any English. And the teacher is reading something. She's like, Sally holds a apple. I was like, I believe it's an apple. She goes, you speak English? It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Thank you, white Santa.